And now to health matters. Stakeholders in the health sector have underscored the significance of health promotion and its impact on global health outcomes. This was the major thrust of discuss at the continuous medical education organized by Cleaner Lancet with the theme health promotion, an effective tool for global health. Details in this report. Health promotion entails the entire process of enabling or empowering people to increase control over and improve their overall health. It is against this notion that key stakeholders, experts and participants from the healthcare industry, gather at this continuous medical education to discuss and share insight and promote in health globally. So why the focus on health promotion and how is it an effective tool for global health? While the organizers explain why it is apt, the Lagos State government speaks on how disease control and global health outcomes can be improved. It's a multifaceted approach to you know, achieving universal health care coverage and strengthening the health care system. And as an organization, this is a big part of our mission regarding you know, um, impacting positively the communities that we work in. And one of the ways to do that is to gather um, a multi-sectoral audience every year and to uh, focus on a topical issue. The Lagos State Government on its own is very interested and we believe that major players in diagnostics are key to having health promotion and even sustaining it because they come in on preventive levels. Other speakers at this year's CME are of the opinion that health promotion enables prevention of disease, reduce the associated risk factors or behaviors, while enhancing and fostering lifestyles and conditions that are conducive to good health. Special mentions are made about the nation's health structure and financing. Um, sometimes our challenges are a function of design, the way we design our healthcare system. Um, we know that the, the way the government looks at healthcare, that their focus is the public sector. Um, the private sector has sort of evolved on its own. Um, regulatory control is increasing, but 70% of care is provided in the private sector. And unfortunately, most of our primary health centers are dysfunctional. You know, they are poorly resourced. And uh, in the rural areas where they are located, access even to their location is really very poor because of poor infrastructure. So the, the uptake really of primary health care services is low. And, I, and in that sense, the impact is also very low. If we have to talk about quality in healthcare, we have to add metrics to healthcare. That simply means that we should be able to measure what we are managing, and then provide leadership in that area. One of the things I'll be talking about today is bringing in a metric that's called the Six Sigma. 70% of um, payments for healthcare is out of pocket. And you have a large population when you look about the informal sector. The formal sector, you work in a place is able to take care of your insurance, but how do you co-opt and bring in the informal sector? And I think these are some of the initiatives that have been put in place. If they are properly executed, we will see a lot of positive in impact. The consensus here is that health promotion will positively influence the behavior of individuals and communities, as well as the living and working conditions that influence their health. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.